Larry Roberts worked a little magic at the Share the Harvest Pantry in Greenview, Missouri recently. The pantry received a pallet of red cabbage, but no one was taking any. So Roberts prepared a coleslaw with red cabbage and green apples and a stir-fry dish using red cabbage, green peppers, mushrooms, and bacon. Then he served it to some of the clients. Real good. I like that. I wish they'd do that more. <laughs> The cooking experiment is part of a larger effort by the MU Extension Center to improve the nutrition of SNAP beneficiaries in an attempt to make foods like cabbage more appealing and useful. We show people how to use the different fresh produces uh, that are at the food pantry so they're more likely to take it and know what to do with it. Since 2010, the extension has been receiving a $10 million yearly grant that helps provide nutrition services. One of the projects the extension does includes sending nearly 150,000 recipe cards to food pantries in every county of the state. The grant is funded by SNAP-Ed, a USDA program that works to help supplemental nutrition assistance program clients make healthy living choices. The extension holds cooking demonstrations and provides seasonal recipes for fresh fruits and vegetables, canned goods, and budget recipes. Robert says if the pantry has a large amount of a certain food, one of the extension's 150 nutrition associates will sample it and make recipes for it. Sunrise Beach resident and food pantry client Diane Davis lives on $710 a month. She supplements her SNAP benefits with trips to area food pantries. Davis says the recipes help her and other pantry recipients make healthy meals out of pantry provided ingredients. Just translate it into a meal always. You just gotta have a little know-how and know how to cook. <laughs> Some people come in here and don't know how to cook. Extension project coordinator Sarah March says reaching out to clients through the food pantries has an unknown benefit. Less wasted produce at the food pantries. A lot of times they will find that people won't pick certain things up if they don't know how to make it. But then other times when they get our cards, there will be a rush on whatever the main ingredient is of that recipe. In Jefferson City, the First United Methodist Food Pantry has its own community garden. They also receive up to 100 boxes of produce from a local Walmart every week, but have limited storage space. Pantry director pantry Kristen Hilty says the recipes recipe help teach clients how to use the fresh so produce. It just empowers them really to use the item um, it, and it provides them variety. They might be afraid to take something if they don't know how to cook it. This kind of gives them um, power and options um, for how to uh, for how to cook those items they might not be as familiar with. The extension is scheduled to open the Family Impact Center in North Columbia on May 6th, where low-income residents can seek out information on a variety of topics, including nutrition. With producers Sarah Darby and Lauren Dunn, Morgan DeZakowick, KOMU 8 News, Jefferson City.